Hi, and welcome back. This is Dr. Kaiser. And I'm going to talk to you today about six surprisingly salty foods. So realize that the American Heart Association recommends 1,500 milligrams of salt per day. That's 1,500 milligrams, 1,500 milligrams of salt, which is less than one teaspoon, which is actually two-thirds a teaspoon, because we realize ex excessive salt causes problems, such as increase your risk of stroke, heart failure, osteoporosis, stomach cancer, kidney, di kidney disease, kidney stones, chronic headaches, yes, chronic headaches, and dementia. It is not commonly known that excessive salt causes dementia, but dementia, like many other diseases, is incurable. All you can do is slow the, the progression. And if you get dementia, you'll be the last one to know. So let's not risk it by eating too much salt. The salty six are six commonly salty items that contain hidden salt that most of us may not even taste or know it is even in the food, such as breads and rolls. Many of us eat breads and rolls multiple times a day, whether it's a Danish, a biscuit, dinner roll, what have you. They all contain sodium and it adds up. Cold cuts and cured meats. If you have two ounces of cold cuts or six thinly sliced meats, that can easily total to half of the 1,500 milligrams they should not exceed when it comes to sodium per day. So be careful with those. Sandwiches can equal breads plus cold cuts. The sodium in the breads, the sodium in the cold cuts, what could be any other number of toppings. But just realize that sandwiches contain lots of salt they may not even be able to taste. Pizza, add the bread with, the, with its sodium, add the cheese with its sodium, add pepperoni, any other number of toppings, and that can be a cornucopia of sodium if you're not careful. Soup, this can range from 100 milligrams of sodium to 940 milligrams of sodium. Nonetheless, 940 is very close to 1,500 milligrams of sodium. That's a lot of salt in one meal. Chicken. A lot of people were thinking to themselves, Doc, chicken contains sodium? Really? But really, yes, it does. So just realize that most people don't just eat plain chicken. Also realize that people who may not add salt or sodium to chicken, they may add garlic or other kind of seasonings. However, the manufacturer adds brine, which is salt and water, to the chicken so it can serve as a preservative, make the chicken juicier. And this can add 15% more sodium than it needs to have. If you find chicken in your produce department that contains more than 70 milligrams of sodium, it likely has salt and water in it. So be careful with that. This can increase the sodium by as, mu as much as 440 milligrams of sodium. Wow. Also realize that tacos and burritos and their taco seasonings contain quite a bit of sodium. So be careful with that as well. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Feel free to share, feel free to like, feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, see you next topic.